This video is going to demonstrate the capabilities of the 2N SIP mic. So this is the 2N SIP mic. It is a PoE device and now workable. It's a very powerful device that has its own built-in programmable interface. You don't need any additional software to program this device because it has its own interface. So this device obviously has a microphone. It has a two-way built-in mic and speaker. It also has the ability to answer a call, end a call, and we have 12 programmable buttons here. So each button is programmable, but one button can be programmed to call 12 different zones. And I'm going to go into that a little bit more. But this demonstration is going to show you that we can call an outdoor set of speakers. We can call interior speakers. We can do an all call, so that's going to call two different zones in this demonstration. We're going to play an HTTP command, so we're going to have a speaker push a message out. We're going to call an intercom back. And we're going to fire a relay to unlock a door all through this device right here. Because sometimes when you have intercoms, you don't necessarily need a video device because you might already have a monitor inside of your uh, office or command center um, where you already see the video from the intercom. So we also have our outdoor horn speaker. We have our interior speakers that are all IP based. And we have an intercom. So the intercom doesn't really matter if it's access or 2N, both work in the exact same way. For the purpose of the demo, this is what we have today. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the calling the outdoor horn speaker. So this is set up as a leader and our outdoor zone. So we can have up to 50 speakers through uh, a regular network connection doing a leader follower setup, but in multicast we can have up to 300 speakers in one zone. So in this demo, I only have one. So I'm going to call the outdoor speaker. Good morning, students. Good morning, students. And I can end the call. So we also had a tone play. That tone can be programmed to play through the 2 and sit mic, and that tone is to signify that there's an incoming call. The next demonstration is we're going to call the hallway speakers, which are these right here. Press hallway. We have that incoming call tone being played. Good morning, students. Good morning, students. But also, when I end the call, another tone is going to play to signify that the communication is ended. Now, as I mentioned, you can call up to 12 different leaders or zones from one button, and that's my all call button. This is a leader, and the audio bridge, this device right here is a leader, and that's a follower. So I'm gonna call both zones at the exact same time with my all call button. And it plays, the message is all at the same time synced. And that call, now I'm going to push an audio message. So I have a message loaded on my interior speakers, which just happens to be the store closing message. And by pressing this button. Dear customer, our store closes in 15 minutes. We thank you for your visit and hope to see you again soon. So we can push any message that's loaded on a speaker. Um, push a message out by just pressing that button so we could have pre-recorded messages being played through the speakers and just have that programmed as one of the buttons. The next demonstration is going to be in intercom calling. So I'm going to press the intercom button here and it's going to come into the 2 set mic. So you can see we have an incoming call. I can answer it. I can have two-way audio communication through the speaker here. I can end the call. So before ending the call though, I'm going to unlock the door. So I'm going to hit the unlock the door button. Welcome. The door is now open. And you can see I have now fired the relay to unlock the door and I'm going to end the call signifying that someone came to the door and I let them in. But I can also program a button to call an intercom back because maybe I see somebody standing there and I want to open up a line of communication to have a two-way audio with them. So I press that button and you can hear me talking through the speaker on the uh, access intercom here. And again, 
I can let them in. I can fire a different relay. You can fire whatever you want, but I'm going to unlock the door. The door is now open. I'm going to end that call. Now, if you're using the Axis speakers to play music, when you initiate a call to the speaker, it's going to interrupt the music. So right now the music's playing through the Axis speaker. I'm going to call that zone. Clean up on aisle five. So it interrupted the music. I can now end it and the music will start playing again. It's just interrupting the music session. So that's the power of the 2N SIP mic. Ask your local RSM for more information. And if you want to know how to program all this, send me an email and I'll send you a document on how to set up this exact example. Thank you very much and have a good day.